Hello everyone. Welcome to Huawei Firewall Multimedia Configuration Course. In this course, you will learn how to query the category to which a URL belongs in URL filtering. You can query information about the category to which a URL belongs in two ways. The first one is local query, namely, querying the category on the web UI of the firewall. The query result can be a predefined category, user-defined category, or no category found. The second one is online query, namely, querying the category on the Huawei Security Center website. The query result is a predefined category. Now let's use two specific examples to describe how to query the category to which a URL belongs, and how to configure URL filtering based on the query result. The first example is to query the category to which www.baidu.com belongs. Let's see local query first. Choose object, URL category. Enter www.baidu.com in the text box. And click search. You can see that www.baidu.com falls into the category of search engines. Next is online query. Log in to Huawei's Security Center website and choose Support URL Category Query. Enter www.baidu.com in the text box and click Query. You can see that www.baidu.com belongs to the search engine's subcategory under the search engine's portals category. In this example, the online query result and local query result are consistent. The second example is to query the category to which www.example1.com belongs. Enter www.example1.com in the text box and click search. You can see that this URL belongs to user-defined category A1. Enter www.example1.com on Huawei Security Center website. You can see that this URL belongs to the Skill Training Examination subcategory under the Education Science category. If you think the category obtained through online query is incorrect, submit your opinion to the website and give your suggestion on which category this URL shall belong to. For example, you can suggest placing this URL to the blog's community subcategory under the social network category. You can also add specific suggestions and then click Submit. In the first example, the results of online query and local query are the same. In this example, however, the results are different. In this case, what shall we do? Treat this issue based on the specific situation. If the firewall does not support remote URL query, configure URL filtering based on the local query result. However, you can refer to the online query result to add the URL to a proper category. If the firewall supports remote URL query, the situation will be a little bit complex. As described earlier, the remote query result can only be a predefined category, whereas the local query result can be a user-defined category, predefined category, or no category found. Therefore, three scenarios are possible. When both query results are a predefined category, configure URL filtering based on the remote query result. Considering that remote category information will be eventually updated to the local URL category database, adjust the local firewall configuration based on the remote category information in advance. If the local query result is a user-defined category, check whether the remote query result satisfies the network requirement. If yes, configure URL filtering based on the remote query result. If no, configure URL filtering based on the local query result. If no category is found in local query, configure URL filtering based on the remote query result. The URL filtering configuration is quite flexible. And here we list only a few most common scenarios. In actual applications, you may encounter lots of more fine-grained scenarios. Therefore, we need to foster a habit of regularly checking URL logs and adjust improper URL categories in a timely manner. 
We've completed the course. Thank you for staying with us.